What's going on guys? This is Brandon from Advancement Hockey Advising and today we'll be talking about the six key attributes that coaches want to see in a hockey player's character. And as always, just a quick reminder to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and share the content if you like it. And just a quick note on sharing again, if you take the time, you know, just a quick second to share on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever platform you're on, whatever platform you wanna share on, you know, it could really go a long way, not only to help our channel grow, but to help, you know, players and families out there that don't really know this information that could really, you know, have a lot of value out of it. So, you know, if you just have a quick second and can share, it'd be awesome if you could do that. And of course, if you have any questions at all, anything you want to say, you know, feel free to drop a comment down below in the comment section or send us an email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And last quick thing, like with every video we post, there's going to be timestamps all along the video. So if you want to get to a specific section you want to get to, or in this case, a specific attribute you want us to talk about, and you want to skip straight to that, feel free to skip ahead to whatever section you want. All right, so with all that stuff out of the way, let's dive right into it. So we all know how important skill is, right? On ice skill, you know, being good off the ice and stuff like that. We all know that you need to have skill to win hockey games. There's no doubt about that. But good coaches know that there's more to a successful team than just a skilled team. The great coaches know this. They know that you need to have not a, not only a skilled team on the ice, but you need to have a good group of character hockey players off the ice. And just a couple bad apples ruins a team, right? That's a common saying. So you, a great coach really ensures that every single one of his players are great people with great attitudes first and then that have good hockey skill as well. So because it's so important for coaches to have these character players on their team, right? It's so important for a team success. This is why we made this video because we want you as a player to be aware of what you need to have in your character to be a guy that a coach really wants on their team, a guy that teammates love being around, that people respect. If you have the six attributes that we're gonna you know, list out here in a sec, and if you really work to, to build on these and improve these skills and, and become a better person, you're gonna be the type of person that people are just gonna want on their team. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it here. All right, so the first character trait on our list here, and I would say is arguably the most important one, is having a team first mentality straight up coaches want team players not selfish ones they want someone that has the same goals and objectives as the team's goals and objectives they want someone that's going to do everything in their power to help the team succeed obviously that doesn't mean neglecting their personal health neglecting their skill development no you know you can still you know strive to have your personal goals and have you know, do awesome workouts that get you in shape and, you know, practice a little extra on the ice to improve your skill development. That's fine because all of that is in line with the team's goals, right? That's totally fine. What's not okay is if the coach benches you for whatever reason, you know, and then you start pouting and you start saying, well, ah, oh, if, if he's benching me, it means, you know, the team doesn't like me. And then, you know, I'm entitled to get the ice time that I deserve. And by benching me is going to preventing me from getting my, my points goal that that's where, you know, that's not being a team player. That's not having a team first mentality, right? A player with a team first mentality instead would say, Hmm, he benched me. I should probably go talk to him after to, to see what's going on, to see what I can do to improve and to see how we can get back on track here so I can, you know, do my part to help the team succeed. See the difference in mindset? Same event happened, just a different mindset and overall it's going to be a whole different team dynamic between the two scenarios. So definitely the most important I would say is just having a team first mentality. If you have this you already put yourself above a ton of hockey players that don't have this mentality. So coaches love it when, te uh, when players have this mentality. And if you can have this moving forward, it's really going to help you succeed and have coaches want you. All right. So the second key attribute here on our list is growth mindset. So this is someone that thinks they can always learn improve and just grow not only as a hockey player but as a person someone who's just hungry to get better someone who just you know wants to learn wants to improve their skills wants to continuously improve their systems their fitness 
everything, right? Someone who has this mindset is going to be so much more successful than someone who remains complacent, right? I've seen it so many times where hockey players are, are up here when they're younger, but unfortunately they start getting complacent as the years go by and players that were down here originally surpass them over time because they kept working, they kept improving, they, they, they kept trying to learn and get better. Whereas the other one kind of just stagnated, right? And every coach knows this. There's always a way to get better. Any coach who says otherwise that a team's perfect, I, I haven't really met any coaches like that. So I, I don't think that's the, the right mindset going forward. There's always something you can improve. And if you take on this philosophy yourself as a hockey player, guarantee this is gonna draw a coach's attention and he's gonna you know, really like that trait about you and he's gonna try and promote that throughout his whole team. So if you can have that, that'll really help you moving forward. And it's just gonna help you get better as a hockey player. So why not have that trait? All right, so number three on our list is kind of two very similar traits, but we're just gonna go ahead and group them together. And that's consistency and accountability. So basically what this means is how reliable are you? Do you show up every single day? Do you give your best every single day when you show up? Do you have expectations of yourself? Do you hold yourself to that standard? Are you more of someone that kind of takes a day off every once in a while when they don't feel like it, you know, doesn't, you know, hold themselves really to a higher standard, just kind of go by how you feel. So being consistent and accountable, I can tell you right now, nothing builds respect more and teammates, you know, other players, coaches, than someone who just shows up every day, does their routine without fail, you know, rain or shine, shows up, gives their absolute best. Nothing builds respect amongst others more than someone who does this. So if you can somehow try and implement that into your character, be someone who consistently show like is the first one to show up to workouts, gives it their all, is the last one to leave, does the extra rep, you know, first one to show to practice, you know, always has a consistent routine. People know what to expect out of you. You're reliable. If you're someone who can do this, I'm telling you, this will be a huge game changer into how your teammates and coaches perceive you. And coaches are really, really, they really look for players like this. So if you can implement that in your character, it'll really pay off in the long run. So number four on our list here is kind of a nice segue from consistency and accountability, and that's work ethic. Work ethic there's no substitute for it, right? Obviously you have to have a good goal in place. You know, you have to be going in the right direction. You can't just be blindly working hard, but assuming you have those things and you, you got the right systems and you're heading in the right direction, if you consistently work every single day to the best of your abilities and you learn from all your mistakes and stuff, you will improve at the end of the day. And coaches and teammates love seeing that. They love seeing someone who consistently works hard on and off the ice. Someone who just has that ingrained in their character. It's really contagious and people respect you so much for it. And you get so much better by doing this. So my question to you is why not do this? Why not give it your absolute best if it at something that you absolutely love like playing hockey, right? It not only will make you a better hockey player, but other people will love being around you and you'll inspire them to have that kind of work ethic too. I know some players that weren't the most talented, but they work so hard, so, so hard, both on and off the ice. And they became captains in the future just because of it. They weren't the best players, but they were the hardest workers on a consistent basis. And, you know, coaches and teammates recognize that. So if you can improve, you know, your work ethic and try and be the person that works the hardest all the time, you know, definitely something that people recognize and it'll definitely help you uh, in your hockey career moving forward. So number five on our list here is resilience. I would say resilience is huge, right? This one, this character trait right here is the one that determines, are you gonna be the one that keeps pushing through when things really aren't going well? Or are you gonna be the one that quits, right? It's as simple as that. Coaches, teammates, everyone loves to see people that, you know, get so many things thrown at them. They get put down, pushed down, whatever. They, things just aren't going well, but they still find a way to get up, push through and eventually succeed. People love that. And, and honestly, it's the best personal feeling when you're able to do that, like embody that trait 
and just push through all the things when things aren't going well and kind of come through. It's, it's something that's not only a skill in hockey, but it's going to be a skill in life in the future. If you can have this trait, you will reap the rewards from it. You will have so much success from it if you're able to just, you know, be able to endure all the hardships, right? As a hockey player, you're going to get cut, scratched, benched, you know, yelled at by teammates, whatever it is. And a lot of times the thought might come in your head, I, at least I know it did for me, of, of quitting, right? It's like, man, this is too much. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of lay it all down. That's it, I don't want to anymore. But then you kind of have to find a way to ignore that thought, keep pushing through all the hardship and, and just find a way to move forward because eventually you get out of it and that's where you get the growth, that's where you get the success. And having this mindset, coaches absolutely love people that are resilient and that are just tenacious and never give up. So if you can have that, you will succeed moving forward. I guarantee it. It's going to help you so much. Number six and last on our list here is something I call humbled confidence. Now, what does that mean exactly? Why don't I just say confidence? Well, the biggest reason is that people who are super confident, like overconfident, they kind of give off the wrong vibes, right? They seem a little bit arrogant. And not only that, like not only do they kind of turn off people, but it actually inhibits their personal growth. When you think you're too confident that you got it all figured out, where's the room to learn, right? You, you don't, you're, you're not humble enough to say, hmm, I'm not very good at that or I don't know this. Therefore, I need to learn and get better, right? People that are really arrogant, they usually don't have that growth mindset accompanied to them. So that's, I would say, the biggest reason why. But I would say if you're not humble, right, you're, you're going to turn off coaches. It's going to rub them the wrong way. Your teammates won't particularly like or respect you if you're, you're overconfident and arrogant. So I would say, you know, being humble is definitely a big, big thing that you want to strive to be. But at the same time, you don't want to be too humble where you know, you're, you're not confident enough, right? You want to be someone that has that strong inner confidence in yourself and your abilities, right? When you're on the ice, you want to have the confidence to make a nice play. You don't want to be playing in fear, right? You want to have the confidence and the mindset to say, hey, I'm going to dominate today and I'm going to dominate every single game here moving forward so my team can success. That's the kind of mindset you want. And coaches and other players are drawn to people like this that have just this strong inner confidence in themselves but aren't cocky about it right people love those kind of players so if you can kind of adapt you know yourself to have this kind of character trait is gonna you know pay dividends for you in the future and it's really gonna go a long way and help you succeed as a hockey player all right so just a quick recap of our list here so first we got team first mentality second we got growth mindset Third, we got consistency and accountability. Fourth, we got a solid work ethic. Fifth, we have resilience. And sixth, we got humbled confidence. Having these attributes is so, so important because it's gonna not only make coaches want you, but it's gonna just make your whole team respect you that much more and eventually see you as a leader on the team. So I would say that we can all improve myself included too, at any of these traits on this list here. They're all important, so they're worth spending our time improving on. And I would just challenge you if at the end of this video, if you can kind of analyze the list here and see which trait maybe or traits maybe that you could improve on, right? Which one do you think, hmm, I think I could maybe get better at this particular one. And I promise you, if you spend time to improve your character in this way, just take specific actions every day that'll help you improve it. I promise you it will pay you off in dividends in the future. So definitely, if you have the time, you know, I challenge you to do that whenever you can. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, just a quick reminder to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and share the content. If you have just a quick second, you know, sharing it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever platform you're on, it'll really go a long way, not only in helping us grow as a channel, but helping the players and families out there that could really use this information. So if you have a second and you could share it, it we would really, really appreciate that. And also, if you have any questions, anything you want to talk to us about, you know, feel free to comment down in the comment section below or send us an email at info at ahadvising and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.
Also, if you just want to know more about our company, there's a link down below that you could click in the description and it basically gives you nice access to every platform we're on, everything we're doing. So it, it'll give you the chance to, you know, check out more and learn more about us. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on that next one.